It's been three days since I moved here in my new apartment and today I'll be doing a room tour of my apartment here at Cinnamon. So just on the outside you'll see an area wherein I put my shoes and yeah before going in. Then my garbage bin. And then outside there are there's another room for the same floor as where I am. I was actually lucky since the previous tenant left a lot of stuff, useful stuff for me. Especially since I'm just starting to move into a new place. So it's harder for me to, you know, gather some stuff, be able to um, provide, buy these stuff. So fortunately, they were able to leave some and I am able to use it. For the refrigerator, I put some of my stuff here, especially the meat and those things I need for cooking. For the meantime, I just decided to buy some water, bottled water, since I'm thinking of if I need to buy a water purifier attached directly to my faucet, or I'll just buy a pitcher wherein you can purify the water in the pitcher itself. Since it's just been three days since I moved, a lot of my stuff was there unfixed, but I made sure to clean some of my stuff here for where I used to. So I'll be studying, so this will be my study desk for the meantime, and then you know my usual skincare kit, books, and then other stuff, and then. The South Korean style of living room is usually attached with the kitchen, which is what's happening now. Here is like the living area and then the kitchen immediately. So I just don't have tables for dining since I don't need much. I'm alone. And then we have two rooms. This one is the bedroom, my bedroom, and then this one is leading towards the kitchen. So there, there's a light here so you'll be able to see the clothes. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a clothing rack, but a clothing a closet, but I just put my clothes here before cleaning. And then moving here is the bathroom. So the laundry machine is also here, the washing machine is also here. And on the left side of it is another room. So so according to the the, the Sajangnim, if I decide to invite someone and live with together for example have them rent the other room it's possible since it's quite spacious so they would just be needing to um, put on new wallpaper fix some stuff here but it's livable and you have a lot of things you can do here and it's just outside the, the washroom so i'm thinking of changing this as my storage area However, I'm also thinking of inviting my um, a lot of friends or say they could, this could be a place for them to sleep in case they'll be visiting here. Also for laundry, after doing laundry, I can set up here the laundry rack and then have the clothes get dried here. For the meantime, I put the boxes I used and some of the electric fans the previous tenants left for me. I'm very thankful for them. So since I don't have a rack yet for my clothes, I just hang them here. So my aunt was commenting that if I'm cooking, the smoke could go <laughs> to the clothes. And thinking about it, it actually might get the smoke. So probably I'll be moving them somewhere if I have time to buy some clothing rack. So another thing they left for me was this mirror. So if I'll be able to... Uh, if I'm going to school and they need to check my outfit, check my fit for the day, this one will, this one will come handy. Aside from the window mirror, they also left the closets. So for clothes and just for my undies and all, I just put them here. And then my bag is still untidy, you see this? <laughs> and the bed so as mentioned the room is quite big and because the one that used to live here like a family of five so although the bed for me is quite small it's okay since i can if i sleep i just don't i don't really move around where they sleep so for now this is enough 
I'm still thinking if I would be needing to buy a bed, like a queen size bed. But my problem is when I move out, I would probably need to throw it. And yeah, you know, that's the problem here in South Korea. If you buy a lot of stuff, and then you have only a year or two years to go, um, disposing stuff is not that easy because you need to buy a sticker and then to put your to, to put to your appliances and then have them picked up by someone then you have to pay for it and for that I think it's not that expensive but it's a hassle so that's one thing I'm really considering about but for the meantime the bed and the pillows I have and the comforter I have are sufficient for me and then that's gonna be okay for me i think if you're wondering the costs for this place it's actually not that expensive because for my bujonggong or the deposit i only paid 2 million won and for my wall set which is for the monthly rent i'll be paying 300,000 for the whole place and then well it doesn't include the gas the heater the boiler and water so technically i'll be paying at least 350 360 each month to cover all the expenses including the internet because as mentioned i was able to get the internet just march 2 so in the end of the day yeah everything will be on my cost and it depends on me and how much i'll be spending for example because advantage of living in an apartment where you can cook is that can budget your food so I like cooking and it's easier for me to budget my food in like in food expenses if I cook so if I cook for example a tobo or or milaga for today I can still eat that milaga for two to three days and then that's a saving for me I'll be able to save money because of that but if the usual I mean, live imagine I'm living outside the dormitory outside in the dormitory um, I have to spend every time I'll be eating so the usual expenses I have were like ranging from 6,000 to 7,000 per meal and for example I decide to eat just twice a day lunch and dinner that'll be roughly 15,000 to 16,000 in total excluding the breakfast so with the budget and the allowance we have it's quite not enough if you're a student in South Korea um, and you're thinking is it okay to live outside, is it better to stay in the dormitory, it's really, it really depends on your preference and as mentioned for me, I really want to have the privacy and then the, the, the space for myself. That's one of the reasons why I decided to go out. On top of that, I really really want to start cooking here in South Korea and like manage my food expense through cooking and because of I'm because I'm living outside it's all on me so if I overspent it's really because I really cook and spend and eat a lot and that's the thing because in South Korea all the prices are so expensive nowadays and for the allowance it remained one million one per month so if you're really into tight budgeting you, you want to monitor your expenses I would suggest going outside if you have the money to pay for the person but if you don't have then I think you have to stay in the dormitory for the meantime just to save up some money that's what I did and actually I did some side hustles that helped me gather, gather the money for this and also I, my friends were there to lend me some money so that I'll be able to manage paying the deposit and Actually, those are the things you need to consider when you're going outside for an apartment. So hopefully your stay here in South Korea, your studies life would be easier and, you know, you'll be able to enjoy every part of it. Bye-bye.